Y'all didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? I know y'all wouldn't think it was going to be that easy. Before I get in this video, let me go ahead and wish everybody a happy holiday. Whether that be Christmas, Kwanzaa, uh, Hanukkah, uh, whatever you celebrate, man. Uh, I hope y'all enjoy this time to, uh, you know, love up on your family and friends. Uh, this is a time for self, you know, self reflection, and to reach out to loved ones, man. So, uh, much respect in that uh, perspective. But back to this game. Damn, this is tough. This is tough, y'all. Um, I actually didn't know how I was going to handle this loss today. Uh, obviously, watching the game, I was frustrated. I was mad. Um, right from the get go, uh, the Carolina Panthers came out whooping ass. Uh, Run the ball straight up the middle down our throats. And the Lions just looked helpless. They looked like either they couldn't do nothing or they didn't want to do nothing. I don't know which one it was. Uh, but either way, it just didn't look good from the get-go. So you got Carolina come out the gates. They score a touchdown on opening drive. And the Lions do a great job at getting the ball back and marching down the field and scoring as well. Where the, where, the, where the game turned, in, in my perspective, is when the Lions got the ball back and they marched it down into the red zone. I think they were like on a 10 or 9-yard line. Uh, Frank, Rack, Frank Rack now snaps the ball. And it's not a clear uh, snap to Jared Goff. And Jared Goff fumbles the snap. And the Carolina Panthers uh, recover the, the fumble. And that pretty much sealed the game from there. Because from there on, um, their, def their defense was relentless. They beat down on our offensive line. They was getting pressure. They got sacks on golf. And I think in the last two games, golf hadn't even been sacked. So they started to turn up on defense. And, of course, their offense, which wasn't anything special, they were just running the ball down our throats. We couldn't stop it. Uh, we're talking about guys getting down the field, going 10, 15 yards untouched. I mean, if 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 you looked up the word, the definition of domination, just cut this game on. There you go. There's your definition of domination. The way that Carolina Panthers manhandled this defense, that's your definition of domination. See, before we were able to do that to teams. We were in control of the line of scrimmage. But today, on both ends, the line of scrimmage got their asses handed to them. Those boys on defense looked like they didn't want to be out there. It's cold. You're on the road. And it's going to hurt making those tackles. It's going to hurt getting, getting hit. Nobody wants to be out there in this cold. But how much do you want it? Clearly, the Panthers showed that they wanted it more today. They were more physical. They were more faster to the attack on both offense and defense. You made Sam Darnold go out here, look like he's resurrected his career. This is a very disappointing game for the Lions. For the simple fact that we look so bad. And now we're talking about having to win the last two games to even have a chance at a wild card spot. We're going up against the Bears, the Packers, two divisional opponents. You know those games are never easy. You talk about going on a road in Green Bay in that environment? This was a game that you did not want to lose, but unfortunately we did. We did this to ourselves. Now, I want to commend the Lions because they did a great job at turning their record around. To go from 1-6 and six to 7-7, seven and seven, that is a commendable and very respectable feat. They did. But do understand, you cannot start off 1-6. and six. You put yourself in this situation. So, yes, now we are expecting you to go above and beyond maybe what your capabilities really are. Maybe the Lions were feeling themselves a little too much and didn't understand that they are still in need of proving week and week and week, every week to improve because we're still not there yet. 
The interior defense got eight to shreds. Our cornerbacks were getting toasted today. It was very bad looking. So what we got to do now is we got to regroup and get back to doing what we do great, which is controlling the line of scrimmage. That's where we are our best at. Today, you got beat up. You got stumped. Get your heads right, and let's take it to the Chicago Bears next week, and then get ready to go up against those boys in Green Bay. Now, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to come on here and shit on this team because, for one, that would be silly. The simple fact that most of us were wanting maybe five or six wins this game, we've got seven already. So that in itself is, you know, improvement. And we still have a chance to finish the, the season with a winning record, whether that be a playoff berth or not. So there's still a lot of things we're playing for. Playing for next year. Potentially playing for uh, playoffs. But I am not going to get down on this team right now. No. I've seen too much growth over the past few weeks. And I'm going to chuck this one up. And just them just simply looking over these guys. Which we could not afford to do. So let's regroup. Let's get it back together. And I'll see y'all next week. I'm out.